Now everybody, Cantonese Cat here. This is the weekly chart of Bitcoin. I'm showing you some of the favorite moving averages that I generally show. Everybody has their own favorite, but these are usually three that I look at, which is the 20, 50, and 100 simple moving averages. It's important to look at how they stack together, kind of get an idea of whether or not there's a trend change or not. Now in general, I find personally, I find that these moving averages tend to give a general guideline in terms of support and resistance as well. For example, if you look at the 20, it serves as support and it also serves as resistance. And then down here, it serves as resistance and they turn into support. It serves as resistance here briefly and then eventually when it passes through, it just ran parabolic. 50 also found to be very commonly used to be a relatively important resistance and support level. Here is sort of a support, here is sort of maybe a little bit closer to support. Eventually broke down, back test, fail, boom, went down. Went back up here, initial back, uh, back test again, failed, went down, and then eventually broke, uh, broke through, right? Didn't really do too much of a back test, but it got pretty close, and then it just went parabolic. The 100 moving average, in the case of Bitcoin, it may not be as, you know, touchy. But I do find this is probably getting close to that. It's serving as a little bit of support here, but it's going to roll over because it rolled over down here. And eventually the weakness just kind of fell through. And when it went back up, surface resistance here briefly, eventually broke above. And the rest is history. I find this to be quite similar when it comes to a few of the minor stocks. And one of the minor stocks that I look at is Mara. And Mara has a very, very similar story over this past cycle in the beginning of this cycle here. If you look at the 20th service, you know, support here, fell to service support, and you see all these moving averages starting to roll over. That usually tells you, hey, the impulsive bull trend is over. You might make a little bit of a higher high, but it's really starting to roll over. I mean, these are longer term averages, especially even down here with the 100 week moving average. You're really starting to see it kind of roll over. Perhaps the bull trend is still ongoing, but it's a little bit like exhausted. Sometimes it can look even a higher high, but you're really talking about a little bit of exhaustion of the trend here. And sure enough, it starts to roll over, broke down to 20, went back up, tested it, bounced higher, but eventually it went back down here, trying to back test it, failed, and then just plummeted. Eventually it also tried to back test it a few times here, eventually it broke above. And it did a little bit of gymnastics, and now here we are. You know, we're really starting to develop a bull trend here. 50 also serves as, you know, relatively interesting level here. Maybe a little bit of support and resistance level here. Definitely serves as a lot of support level here, right? You know, thought they would just bounce right up. Yeah, but eventually got rejected by a hundred, uh, about 100 moving, a weekly moving average. 100 also serves as pretty important support here, but eventually fell over because the trend was rolling over. You know, over here, it did a back test, failed, plummeted. Try and find some support down underneath over here and eventually broke open and now it's going up because throughout all of these gymnastics here Eventually the end result is after one two three after three years the gymnastics the gym, gymnastics end up having you to have an end result of so 20 moving average pointing up a 50 moving average pointing up 100 moving average starting to roll, um, roll back to get back above all of this are potentially forming a bull trend like it did over here. And it looks like we might just be at the beginning of it. I'm not so worried about this double top kind of thing. I mean, can Mara fall back down to like 19, 20 range to back test the 20 moving average before going up higher? Sure. But because the trend is getting pretty bullish, I'm not so much worried about that long term because I'm not really trying to day trade these little move of like plus or minus 20% that doesn't bother me as much. I like the fact that it's forming a very, very longer trend. It tells me it could potentially make a parabolic move up like this. And I don't want to miss any of the longer, more parabolic moves rather than try and trade some of these smaller moves right here. That doesn't really look like much on a longer time frame, but although it might feel very drastic from a day-to-day -day basis, it, it's just not that drastic when it comes to the overall move that it makes when it makes a move like this, when it makes a move like this, when it moves, it makes a move like this or this. These are very, very drastic. I'm trying to capture the longer move that's going up 
kind of like I'm trying to capture what Bitcoin was doing over here by buying heavily over here. Now, I also want to go for a little bit of time to look at this stagging of these moving averages and see how you can tell which miners um, are potentially one of the better ones. Also, what Bitcoin related stocks are potentially some of the better ones based on the way that the bull trend is looking. I did make a post on this on X or formerly known as Twitter um, to tell you some of the best um, Bitcoin related stocks and some of which are shown here. The first uh, few are going to be very, very parabolic already. This one right here is MST Armagle strategy is already forming a pretty strong bull trend. You can see the price action is already going up pretty parabolically as a result. And the other one that I want to show you that's also very, very good and it's also forming a very strong bull trend with these 20 and 50 moving average really pointing up and even 100 moving averages starting to grow up a little bit is Coin. Coinbase is doing very, very well. The other one that's also doing very well is Green Spark. They eventually went that down and test the very, very rapidly rising 20 moving average and it found support here and now it's going higher. Could it wait a little bit longer for these moving averages to catch up? Sure, but right now it's got a pretty strong bull trend. And then finally, one other, you know, Bitcoin and crypto related stock is Robinhood. This is also one of those that just clearly has a very, very much an expanding moving average of the 20, 50, and 100. All of them pointing up and all of them stacked the right way. And this basically signaled the beginning of a very, very potentially very powerful bull trend that can keep going up. These are probably the best looking ones. I'm going to show you some of the more second tier ones, some of which I do have, including BitFarms. BitFarms, you also have the moving average to stack in the right way here, although it's just not as parabolic as the other one, but the trend is still going the right way. I mean, this is still developing the beginning of a very powerful bull trend, kind of like how it was doing over here. I, I like the look of this. I do have ownership of you know stocks in, in BitFarms. The other ones are, you know, another one that's very um, popular was Mara, as you can see from earlier. It's also starting to stack on the right side. And then 100 could potentially also start rolling up pretty soon. Now, the other one that everybody has been looking at, been a little bit frustrated about is Riot. Now, Riot actually just back tested the 100 and found support, went back up and is trying to find some support here in the 20 and 50. Both of these, these are actually kind of still pointing up a little bit, but the trend is just not as strong, you can tell. But regardless, it is still the beginning of a potentially very, you know, pretty powerful bull trend that's building up. It's just not as parabolic as last cycle, unfortunately. But they're still stacking the right way, and I think if you give it enough time, 100 is going to end up rolling back up. But Riot is just not, um, the bull trend is just not as mature as the other ones. Riot looks also very similar to BTPT in Bit Digital. Bit Digital also has this kind of look where the averages are stacked the right way, but it's just not very parabolic. It's still crawling up and it's still trying to figure out when it's going to make that potential move up. Although the moving averages are stacked the right way, 20 over 50, 50 over 100. One other one um, was Cypher. It also has a very, very similar look as Riot. SBTPT moving averages are stacked the right way. Even 100 moving averages really starting to roll back flat and serve as pretty good support a couple of times. And it looks like the price does want to kind of push up out of 50. It, it looks like it could be something that's crawling up here for a pretty decent bull trend to develop to go up, but it's still trying to mature. One other one that I actually got myself into is this new one, IER and our IRS Energy. The 20 and the 50 actually start to you know separate a little bit more and it's and 100 just recently just crossed down just a few weeks ago a couple of weeks ago actually so all the moving averages are stacked the right way you do want to ideally see 100 to kind of roll back down potentially to come back up as support when you need it but regardless the moving averages are stacked the right way and it looks like it might be having a beginning of a longer term bull trend over here so this is one that I did end up entering um, today. One other one that also start to have these moving averages just recently start to stack to you know correctly is DigiHost. 
ticker symbol DGHI. All the moving averages are starting to stack the right way, 20 over 50, 50 over 100, but this is just now starting to happen. It spent some time to really try to make that happen, and now it's starting to happen. So the bull trend is not very mature. There is still a chance for it to potentially roll back down, but it looks like it's going the right put that potential way. Some of the ones that are not quite there, they're not even at a full bull trend, but it's potentially in the process of developing. One of the um, Bitcoin related companies is Square, right? Square is starting to try to make this bull trend, although the significant price drop and just how brutal it was just makes the 100 week moving average still kind of pointing down a little bit. It was able to get over it. It's no longer serving as resistance. And the 20 and 50 had crossed over, which is very, very important for a bull trend to develop. But ideally, I would really like to see 20 over 50 over 100. It still hasn't happened yet, but it looks like it could be in the way of doing that. Another one to look at is Terra Wolf, figure symbol W U L F. It looks like it's trying to bundle with the 100 moving down below all of these moving averages, with the 20 potentially serve as support, with the 50 potentially serve as a support. Looks like 20 is crawling up a little bit more than the 50, but you're at the beginning of developing a potentially more longer term pull trend is still not mature. Other ones to look at, this this is very interesting. It looks like all of these three moving averages are pointing to the exact candle right here this week. And it looks like 20 wants to keep pointing up, 50 looks like it wants to keep pointing up, but the velocity is just not as high as 20. So 20 is probably going to cross over 50, and 100 is probably going to cross down. You could potentially develop early stages of a um, bull trend within the next couple of weeks, but it still hasn't happened yet. So it's not, you know, nothing is confirmed. Um, another one that tries to have that look, but I was just not sure about the, the you know, the, the technicals here. It looks like 20 still serves as pretty significant resistance. And it might continue to do that for some point because 20 is flat, but it's still a little bit pointing down, 100 is pointing down. That could potentially serve as resistance as it did over down here. Um, and also serve resistance up here too. So I, I, I'm still not sure about this one. I, I exited this recently and there's no confirmation of a bull trend, not like some of the other ones that I've shown you. So I did rebalance over to see whether or not I can capture some of the beginning of that other bull trends while HUD is gonna work out some technicals and try to figure itself out. Now, the one Bitcoin or crypto related company that should benefit from crypto doing very well, but the stock price is still hasn't reflected that is PayPal. 20 is under 50 is under 100. Now 20 is starting to flatten out, it's starting to curl up a little bit here. And there's a very, very strong potential over the next couple of months or so 20 is gonna cross over 50 and that's gonna be a very bullish development. But you still probably gonna take maybe for, even for the rest of the year for you to have 20 over 50 over 100 to have like a really true confirmed bull trend. That still hasn't happened yet with PayPal. I do think that it's going to happen. I do think that when that happens, the price is going to be in the 70s. And afterwards, you are going to hit some of the higher, higher targets, but it could take longer than a lot of people would expect because of these moving averages still need to kind of work their stuff out. There are a couple other ones that I, I generally, I hear other people asking me about, and I just, I'm just not sure, right? One that I advise, um, not advice because it's not financial advice, but I advise um, people that this is something that I personally won't necessarily get into um, would be um, Canon. Uh, I guess they provide infrastructures for miners, but the moving average is kind of going down, keep going down, keep going down. And none of this is financial advice per se, but I'm just telling you, I'm just showing you what I'm seeing. The trend is still down. There's no sign of it wanting to change anytime soon. I don't know where the bottom is for the stock. If you want to look at this, this is actually something that's very, very easy to, to set up on TradingView. This is probably one of the most easiest um, traditional um, technical analysis you can do is looking at these moving averages. And I just show you why they could potentially be useful um, support level, resistance level, and also tell you the trend based on how it it goes and also based on whether or not they're stacked the right way. This is something that is very, very important to grabs 
because if you don't grasp this, you, you, you have a hard time looking at trend and you don't know what you're looking at. You may not know what you're doing. But again, I'm not giving you any financial advice. I'm just kind of sharing you as more of a, this is ser like all my content is seriously more educational than anything. I don't, I never tell you what to do. I would never advise you in terms of what you should or should not do. I'm only showing you what I'm seeing. And these are some of the you know basic stuff that um, you should be aware of if you're interested in technical analysis. All right. Well, thank you so much for listening. Have a good one. Bye.